Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today guys we are going to be installing a car pack that is done that was asked of me by request. Uh, before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget that I do have a dedicated Discord that you can come to for all of your GT5 and LSPFR needs. If you have any trouble with your game at all, uh, uh, during or before this tutorial or after it, be sure to join my Discord, guys. Link is in the description. Also, at the end of the video, I will also link my second channel, CG Farms, right there, guys. And be sure you come show me some love over there as well. And uh, subscribe to my channel as I do farming simulator related content over there. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so today we are going to be installing the Blaine County Sheriff's Office Mega Pack um, by Avion Games. You can see on the screen there guys, uh, there's a couple pictures of the, there's a picture of the FPIU and one of the park ranger. That is a couple of vehicles that's from this pack. This pack is huge guys, it is a big, big pack so with that being said let's get right into this ladies and gentlemen click the link in the description below um, it's going to bring you to this page right here the um, add-on replace Blaine County Sheriff's Office Mega Pack now we're going to be doing this DLC we're going to be um, we're not going to be doing the replace we'll be doing one vehicle that's a replace vehicle the rest of them will be DLC now you will need uh, a few requirements to put a DLC in your game so it doesn't crash that's going to be a game config, a heap adjuster, and a pack file limb adjuster. I will link a video right now taking you to my video that shows you how to install those three mods alone, okay? With that being said, let's scroll down, and we are going to click download right here. You're going to click, now you want both of these files, okay? So you want to you want to click download here, and then once it's done downloading, come back and get the one that says replace.rar. You want both of these files, okay? Put it some put them somewhere where you know how to get to them, okay? With that being said, let's close out of that and let's go ahead and get into our installation. You are going to need your open IV. So fire up your open IV. Alright. And let's open up our Blaine County Sheriff's Office Mega Pack. Go ahead and open up your main directory too. Uh, in your main directory, guys, I want you to go into your mods folder right here. Go to mods, go to update. Time 64 and then DLC packs, okay? Now, uh, minimize your directory and inside of your OpenIV, first of all, make sure you are in edit mode, okay? Make sure your edit mode is on, okay? Uh, go over here to the side column and click on mods, all right? Click on update, update.rpf, common, and data. If you scroll down, you will see the DLC list.xml right here. That's what we're going to be working with, okay? Um, you might want to go ahead and click favorites, click add to favorites, and then click add, okay? Uh, you can name it anything you want, just make sure you add it and you'll have the pathway saved. Now, with that being said, let's uh, minimize our open IV and open up our main directory. In our, in our main directory, guys, we should be in grand theft auto 5 mods update time 64 dlc packs if you do not have a mods folder i will take you to a video showing you how to install a mods folder with all the necessary patch days okay i'll leave a video for that as well uh now with that being said let's go um let's go over here to our winrar and let's go ahead now if you click on this bcso right you're going to see there is your dlc.rpf right there do not install the dlc.rpf do not install that you want to go right here where the bcso is you want to grab that entire folder and you want to grab it and you want to drag it into this little buffer zone do not highlight anything if you highlight something you drop it you're gonna you're gonna screw everything up don't do that you should be in mods update time 64 deal pit c packs inside of your uh, main directory okay so Bring it in here, guys, this buffer zone, and drop it in just like that, okay? It might take a minute for it to roll over and get in there, but it will go in, okay? I'm also going to take you guys in a game and show you uh, a few of these cards. Just a few of them, not all of them, but just a few. All right, and there it goes, going on over. Now, I hope you guys are having a great week, man. I hope you guys are enjoying the content and that you guys are happy and where you want to be in life. <clears throat> And that you are in consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation. Now, guys, you will see it's at the bottom. But if you go up here and you click refresh, 
it now puts it at the top okay now with that being said we also have these ELS folders to install okay don't fret I got you go ahead and go back to your main game directory all right and refresh it and we can now close out of this open up your open IV remember that DLC list.xml right here guys that's what we're gonna be doing so you want to highlight the DLC list.xml right click and then click edit make sure you are in edit mode in your open IV or you will not be able to click edit okay once you're in here scroll all the way down to the bottom and you want to click on the very last line whatever your last item line is click on the very end of that where your cursor is blinking and you are going to highlight that last line just highlight the very last line and then you want to right click and click copy now go back out to the end of that line and left click okay until the cursor is blinking then you want to hit enter one time and then on your keyboard you're going to hit control v v as in victor left control v to paste that line now you should have two of the same lines and that's okay that is perfectly fine all right go up here inside of your winrar where your bcso is and you want to click that until it highlights like that kind of like it's blinking okay once it's highlighted like that right click and click copy all right once you got it go back into your dlc list.xml and you want to go right here where you see the patch day 24 the last item line is the one you want to be on go to the one that says patch day 24 ng and highlight only from the p to the g from end to end just like that don't highlight the forward slashes or anything just highlight the patch day 24 ng all right once you have that go ahead and hit left control v it is now going to paste in the bcso and that's exactly what we want once you have that go ahead and click save all right now if you want to double check it you can double click on the dlc list xml go down and you will see that your bcso list your item line is now down there okay there it is all right let's close out of this now in our open iv we're going to want to go over here to the side column and go to els and pack default if you do not have els i will again link you to a video showing you how to install uh els okay now inside of here all right you should be in els pack default oh go over here to your winrar and open up your els file okay now you want to grab every single file in here just like this you want to highlight them and you want to pull them in your open iv like this and just drop them all right there you go that's it for that part that is it for that part go over to open iv click file and click close all the archives go over here to this and close out of this and you can get rid of that for a shortcut okay we're done with that part now the only vehicle we're going to replace in this pack you can replace whatever vehicle you want okay we're going to open it up the only vehicle we are going to replace is going to be the park ranger vehicle okay so the only thing you need you want to click on let's see there's two park ranger vehicles so we're going to do the extended cap okay the f-150 extended cap so double click on that all right and then go over to your open iv and click on mods click on mods update time 64 dlc packs and then scroll down and double click on patch day 20 okay then double click on dlc.rpf time 64 levels gta5 and then vehicles.rpf okay again guys go up here to favorites click add to favorites and save it click add right there so you can save the pathway okay now in here is where we're going to put our replace vehicle that is what this pathway is for okay your pathway is your lifeline okay highlight the files inside of your winrar right here you're going to grab them and drag them and you are going to drop them inside of your open iv just like that okay now let's go back in our winrar and you want to go right here where it says eos open that up the only file you need in here is the pranger.xml unless you put in other replace vehicles and then you can use them all okay now we're gonna go um we're gonna go up and we're gonna go back to els and pack default all right and then you want to grab this pranger.xml from your winrar you want to grab it drag it and drop it into your open iv 
just like that okay now if you want to replace the other vehicles guys it's the same exact um it's the same exact process you go to that pathway i showed you then your els pack default uh, it's the same exact pathway okay guys with that being said let's close out of that get rid of that go to our open iv click file and click close all the archives and then close out of our open iv and i will see you guys inside of lspfr all right, ladies and gentlemen, so once we are loaded into the game, we are going to spawn our vehicles. Now, you can use your F4 console key to spawn vehicles. However, I do highly recommend using Simple Trainer as it, as it is a lot easier to do it that way. If you do not have Simple Trainer, I will take you to a video showing you how to install Simple Trainer, okay? Keep in mind that you have to have Script Hook V in order to make Simple Trainer work, okay? I'll also drop the Script Hook V link in here as well. Uh, with that being said, let's pull up our Simple Trainer. We are going to go to vehicle spawning and we want to go to where it says added vehicles menu at the towards the bottom. Third one from the bottom, guys. Added vehicles menu right there. I'm going to click on that. All right. And then we are going to click on the very first 2014 emergency uh, charger there. Okay. All right. This is going to be stage one, stage two. And stage three right there. We're actually going to pull down this way so I can do my thumbnail here in a little bit. All right, now there is one thing I did notice with the pack, guys. Even installing the entire pack, there was, I think, four of the cars that would not spawn. So just bear that in mind. If your cars don't spawn, that's why. Um, even mine won't spawn. So I don't know why it was doing that, but it did it. So uh, now we're going to pull right here, hop out. Pull up our simple trainer again, guys. Go to vehicle spawning, added vehicles menu. And we are now going to spawn the... Let's spawn. I think it might have been the Crown Vic that wouldn't spawn. I think that was the one of the cars that wouldn't spawn. Yeah, it was the Crown Vic and I believe the Caprice that wouldn't spawn. Yeah. So we're going to go on down to the FPIU, guys. I mean the FPIS right here. We're going to spawn that. Alright. This is going to be your stage one lighting. Stage two. And stage three. And they do have some nice takedowns as well, as you can see, guys. Uh, inside the vehicle, hands are on the wheel. Very, very nice. Nice radar right there in the front. Got a nice partition here in the back for uh, your your shotgun and your rifle there. It's very, very nice. Avion Gaming, man, big shout out to you, bro, as you did an amazing job on this pack, bro. I love it. God, I love it, man. Uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and pull this one right about... Get it right about there, and we'll hop out. All right, we'll spawn like two or three more, maybe four more. All right, simple trainer, vehicle spawning, added vehicles menu, and then we are now gonna we are now going to um, now see where it says FPIS and then FPIS two. All that is, guys, it's the same exact vehicle, but it's without a light bar on top. Okay, that's that's all it is, and I'll show you what I mean here. I'm gonna spawn the FPIU. All right, stage one, guys and girls. Stage two. There is your stage two. I love that stage two line, the FPIU, and stage three right there, guys. All right, we're gonna back it up, and we're gonna put it. We're gonna put it right there. All right, hop out. And now I'm gonna inst I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, spawn the FPIU two, okay? And you'll see it's it's one without the light bar on top. See that? And this has only got one stage. You click it, the lights come on. That's what it looks like right there, guys and girls. All right, let's put that one there. Hop out. Simple trainer, vehicle spawning, add a vehicle's menu, and this time we will spawn the uh, we'll spawn the Tahoe right there. All right. Stage one, guys and girls. Stage two. And stage three, right there, guys. I mean, it's a it's a very nice pack, guys. It's very nice. I don't know why the the Crown Vic and the Caprice is not spawning. I'm not too sure about that. Um, I, I don't know, guys. I do not know about that. But nonetheless, guys, it is a nice vehicle pack, and we need to spawn our Ranger. So remember, guys, we installed that into Patch Day 20 through the Vehicles uh, RPF. So go to your Simple Trainer. Go to Vehicle Spawning. And this time, you want to go up to where it says emergency, okay? Click on that. And then you want to go down to where it says park ranger and click on that. All right. 
This is going to be stage one. Oh, this is nice, man. Very nice. Stage two. And stage three. All right, let's have a look inside. Again, hands are on the wheel. I'm very impressed with this pack. I'm very impressed. Um, very, very impressed. Nice computer system. Uh, we got a nice partition here in the back. So, yeah, guys, very, very nice. Look at that uh, radar, guys. Check out that radar on the windshield. That is amazing. That is awesome. All right, guys, so we're going to back this one up. And there it is, guys. By request, there is your um, Blaine County Sheriff's Office Mega Pack install tutorial right there, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure you subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already, and smash that like button for your boy. Also, make sure you click the bell and click all. And I will also link CJ Farms at the very end of this video if you're seeing it right now. Until next time, God bless you guys. Stay safe in this crazy world. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.